Uh, Mr. Derek talks about how uh, growing up everyone was afraid of his mean German dad. Yeah, I'd be pretty scared too if my dad was Adolf Hitler, you know? The strudel was amazing though. Uh, it was an amazing strudel. Baked by Jews. Um, I don't know, before I begin, I think we need to acknowledge the baby elephant in the room. I don't know. Peyton's wardrobe was made possible by the Parachutist Guild of America. Was that, that was the end of it? No, that was the end, go buddy. <laughs> he was like, I got a good one, you're fat. Uh, <laughs> okay, hey. It's, uh, it's nice that Mr. Derrick is, uh, you know, following in the footsteps of his father, you know, a struggling artist. <laughs> Adolf Hitler painted before he killed Jews. <laughs> he was not good at it. He was better, he was better at the other thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Killing's an art, my friend. It is an art. Uh, it was very creative. Uh, listen, Peyton does very, very well with the women. Until they find out he's not a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. You're laughing too hard at that one. <laughs> too much. I have a penis. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Derrick, if your first two jokes don't work, uh, don't worry, Third Reich is always a charm. <laughs> You're a Nazi. All right, got it. Uh, <laughs> I'm all out of Nazi comebacks. I'm, a, I'm sorry. I, uh... Didn't think you'd do three in a row, but you know what, it's... Yeah, we didn't think you would do six million, so... <laughs> I didn't kill them. Uh... <laughs> By the way, don't let uh, Peyton size fool you. He's very, very agile and athletic. In fact, in 2019, this man competed in the run with the bulls in Palermo, Spain. Five people died. Needless to say, he's not allowed to run anymore. <laughs> El Toro Loco is not welcome in Spain anymore. <laughs> I love how he's like, enough with the Nazi jokes. You're standing like Hitler at the Olympics right now. You're standing like Jesse Owens just dissed you. You're like, oh, that black guy is going to get it stop later. The <laughs> Nazi jokes. Just stop. <laughs> All right? Just fucking stop. <laughs> You will stop with the Nazi jokes! <laughs> Get on, stop with the Nazi <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Forgive him, he's on meth and wants to kill every Jew ever. Uh, <laughs> is it my turn? Is that the... Mr. Derrick is uh, actually divorced, yeah. Wouldn't that make him Ms. Derrick? <laughs> he's a pussy. <laughs> This is very hard, because I really do like Peyton. He's a uh, good friend. Uh, I actually like everything about him, even his name, Peyton. Reminds me of my favorite football player, Walter Peyton, although it'd be hard to imagine that guy running with a football, unless it were filled with honey. <laughs> no. Yes. I'm allowed two fat jokes, I'm allowed two. I think that was your third, but... Uh, oh, that's right. That's okay, yes, yes, Mr. Derrick read a bunch of Winnie the Jew, I don't know, I had nothing. Uh, I thought I had something. <laughs> Mr. Derrick, he's a great dad. With his kids, he loves to play hide and seek Kyle. <laughs> he doesn't like Jews. <laughs> it's your turn. I'm not from the country bombing children's hospitals, so... Uh... All right, I'm sorry to the Israelis in the room. Uh, all right, I, uh, all this child killing, I, uh, this is awesome. Uh, Peyton, a uh, very impressive man. He plays the guitar. Plays the, he does, he's, he's beautiful. He's just sexy, beautiful guitar playing. I, uh, he's so good. I don't know why he doesn't bring his guitar on stage, but 
he, he doesn't need a crutch, and that's good news for crutches. <laughs> Wait, are you, were you calling me fat in that one? No, not at all. That's, I, you're very aggressive, that's all. I, oh, yeah. You're an aggressive no, walker. There's no problem. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Mr. Derek, he likes to throw big 420 parties. Uh, he's not a weed smoker or anything. Uh, 420 just also happens to be Adolf Hitler's birthday. Is that right? I didn't know. Is that right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You still got your VIP wristband on. You're like, is that right? No, I don't even. It's in my phone. Uh, yes. Uh, when Peyton was a child in school, uh, his teacher asked him if he could solve for pi. Uh, and, and, and wait a hang on. And, <laughs> fucking retarded. And he did. <laughs> And he did solve for a pie, and, and she said, that was very good, Peyton, and she gave him a cookie. And, uh, and so it would be very, and what kid wouldn't want a cookie? And so he very, very happy. Later in the day, he passed by his principal, Mr. Richards, and Mr. Richards said, Peyton, how's your day going? And Peyton said, I solved for pie. And he said, very good, Peyton, and he gave him a cookie. Two cookies, it's a good day for Peyton. <laughs> He gets home and his mother asks him what his day was like. And Peyton said, I solved for pi. And she said, I'm very proud of you, Peyton. She patted him on the head and she walked away. And Peyton said, where's my cookie, bitch? And, and she said, now, Peyton, food is not a reward. In our home, food is not a reward. Uh, we are not predators. So Peyton was a little angry at first, but he, he, he kind of took that advice to heart. And the next day, he, uh, his teacher asked him if he could reduce scale of a square so that its proportions were still equivalent. And uh, he did it. She went to give him a cookie. And Peyton said, food's not a reward in this house. And she took it to heart. She said, well, what can I reward Peyton with? And so she thought about it long and hard, and she came up with stickers. I will give Peyton stickers. So Peyton, for the rest of the year, solved one fucking equation after another, accumulated a massive book of stickers. A massive book of stickers. And one day, Peyton was walking down the road with that book of stickers. And he met jazz musician David McDavid. <laughs> and David McDavid said, yo all, Peyton, how you doing? What's that you got in your hand? And Peyton showed him the book of stickers. And McDavid wanted those stickers. So he said, how much you want for them stickers? Peyton said, what do you got? And being the jazz magician that he was, he pulled out a big bag of weed. And he said, I got this weed for you. So Peyton took the weed and he smoked it all and then he got a massive bout of munchies, and you know how the rest of that story goes. <laughs> Stickers are not a reward for performance. Wow, you were really Joseph Stalin up here. Uh, holy shit. That was a long walk for nothing. That was, uh, that was almost as long as Hitler was killing Jews, I think. That was... That joke was about 1939 to 1940, whenever Jews stopped dying. I think that was... There was a lot of Jews, Peyton. There was a lot of Jews, so. Wow. Um, I don't know, is the club still open after that joke? <laughs> that was crazy. I think they did last call during that. I don't know. No, I, I got it. <laughs> is this last joke? Yeah. I don't even know. What's this funny like is a... that was his second to last joke. I know. That was not, that was like a poem. Okay. That was a longer walk than you've ever been on. Yes. Okay. Uh, we get it. I snack. Uh, <laughs> find something new, folks. Uh, 24 years of this. No, it's okay. Mr. Derek is actually, he's a big fan of woodwork. Uh, yeah, he also, he also thought the Holocaust would work. 
No. I, I had to find something. <laughs> That was my last joke. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I feel like I should just leave it at that with that big long joke. That wasn't fair. So, uh, <laughs> I love Peyton. That's my ending joke. Uh, 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 what? Give, give, give it up for them, everybody. That's really the last one? Oh, okay. All right. Wow. That was great. Holy shit. Well, I think we all learned something tonight. I don't know what. But well, we learned something. One more time, for that was a fucking very fun, unique, hilarious at moments and trying at others. But I want to get first thoughts from Jim Flanagan. What did you think about this battle over here? Wow, I mean, great battle. Two of my favorites. Give him a big round of applause. They did awesome work. You know, at the beginning of the battle, I spent a lot of time wondering which one of you was going to die first. And then uh, during Derek's last joke, I hoped it was me. And. Um, <laughs> But I will say, we finally learned why Derek stands with his hands behind his back, because the moment he releases them, he starts goose-stepping and zig-hiling immediately. So now we, he's just trying to keep some restraint. Uh, Jim, let me be the first to tell you, the Nazi jokes are not working. Okay, well, thank right. you, Peyton. They don't like him. All right, well, I was about to call you the, I was about to vote for you, dummy. So, uh, <laughs> I'm still got a great battle by both of you. Uh, Peyton took it with some of those uh, uh, callbacks. Well, Peyton, Peyton get to give it up for Peyton. One vote. Wow. Man, I mean, uh, wh what do you think about this uh, genocide slash fat battle? I mean, I don't even know what to make of that. Peyton, Peyton, isn't that what Mr. Derek's dad did before he killed Jews, was Peyton? That was worse than anything anyone said tonight. Um, yeah, holy shit. Say what you will about Mr. Derek, but I love how concise he is on stage. It's uh, remarkable. Anyway, I'm going to stop with the jokes. Um, I got to say, it was close. Peyton, you had this triumphant comeback after the epic poem, but I think Mr. Derek's, I think his jokes up top really stuck with me, so I got to give it to him. Okay, Mr. Derek gets a vote. The people's champion. Much like another figure in history. <laughs> Stephanie, they don't like it. You're right. They don't like it. So listen. They don't like it. He was also time person of the year at uh, one point, so maybe they knew that. Oh, my God. Uh, that was such a fun battle to watch. I was voting for you, Mr. Derek, all the way through until you started reading an abstract from Mein Kampf. I, uh, uh, but, and then Payne had good comebacks. I am really torn between this. Uh, I'm so, wait, remind me, who's the fat one and who's the German? Again, I can't, I can't place it. I'm having a hard time remembering. Uh, ah, fuck, I, I'm gonna give it to, I'm gonna give it to Mr. Derek uh, solely for the creativity. And the crutches joke got me real good. <laughs> it got me so good. Creative crutches give Mr. Derek two to Peyton's one. What do you think, Brittany? Great battle. Um, Peyton, you do remind me of Humpty Dumpty. And Mr. Derek, you, you, you wrote the story of Humpty Dumpty, pretty sure. Um, yeah, I was rooting for you, uh, Mr. Derek, the entire time. And honestly, the person that I would have thought would have run out of stamina first would have been Peyton. <laughs> but I got to give it to him. I got to give it to him. Peyton, yeah. it's a vote. Four bottles. And I love the Jews. I have to say that legally. Yes, we all like the Jews here. <laughs> We're in comedy, and I, I am trying to make a career of this. We love the Jews. So... What this means is we're tied, meaning it goes to the fucking audience. Yeah! All right. What, okay, not yet, lady. Jesus Christ, again. And you, by the way, when we're talking about Germans, you can't just scream out in an audience. That's bad. Historically, that's bad. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna choose one, and then you give all that you can energy-wise to who you think should win. You ready? Huh? Yeah! Who thinks Peyton won the battle? Gotta get really loud. <laughs> Hold up. Now we're just stealing jokes no, at this no, point. No. I mean, uh, that was the only one that worked. Who thinks Mr. Derek won the battle? <laughs> Peyton is your winner of the evening. Give it up for both of these crazy motherfuckers. Get out of here. Good job, guys. Aww. 
right, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.